wow. I just want to know what these things are. Good morning, it's day nine. Um, when we climbed out of Scissors Crossing last night up to a campsite, now we've got 12 miles to the next water source. Um, so I think that's where we're going to camp for the night. Should be a pretty easy day. Uh, the trail doesn't look so bad on the map, so hopefully it's an easy 12 miles and just kind of cruise along up on these mountains and enjoy all of the plants and flowers that have been popping up everywhere. Does that qualify as like ultimate uh, hiker food? You know, pepperoni, cheese, and peanut Pretty butter fun. and Fritos in a tortilla. You know, you know, like we're not that far into this trip yet. <laughs> <laughs> I want to master the culinary skills early. <laughs> <laughs> There's no guarantee how good it's going to be. I eat What's up? I don't know. All right, how is it? We need a happy smile. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. You get notes of uh excuse me, notes of complexity here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, end of day nine out on trail. We made it to the third gate water cache which is maintained by a trail angel which is pretty wonderful you can see kind of tucked back in there um, I can walk over that way um, is tons of water jugs for hikers um, I think we calculated it and if without this it would be almost a 30 mile stretch this is out here on trail so it's really great that somebody's keeping water out here and maintaining it for us um ending with a beautiful sunset but 12 miles today which wasn't trail wasn't too difficult just a mentally tough day out in the heat trying to ration water keep yourself entertained my ankle's been giving me a little bit of a hard time, but hopefully some tape a short day into a bed tomorrow and uh, we'll be feeling a little bit better. So 
that's all for tonight. Check back in tomorrow. Good morning. It's day 10. Just left the ooh, third gate water cache a little bit ago. Um, right now headed to Barrel Springs and then Ranchita Bodega for some resupply, shower, hopefully some laundry. Um, was thinking about staying at Mountain Valley Retreat. However, um, looking at the weather, there's another storm coming in uh, Saturday into Sunday. And uh, instead, if we push on a little bit today, um, a few extra miles after Ranchita Bodega, it'll set us up for a better opportunity to get up and over our next mountain range and down below snow levels for this next storm. So it's kind of what we're all hoping for. It's kind of even it out, do a couple 13 mile days instead of having to push one big 16, 17 mile day to get up and over that last uh, climb before we head down to Paradise Valley Cafe in Idlewild. So gotta make some moves now. trail yesterday pushed 14 miles which is my biggest day so far today is going to be another 14 to 15 miles to camp um i think you said in yesterday's video we're trying to get up and over these next seven mountains before a snowstorm tomorrow so we have to push a couple big mile days which will be okay um so just left camp, just about a mile in, about to come up on Eagle Rock, which is really exciting. Um, I have an appointment today with Dr. Morgan from Blaze Physio about my foot. I've been having some issues, so I figured I'd make an appointment and try and take care of that now so it doesn't become a bigger issue later on. Um, but right now, that's kind of the morning update, so I'll check in later. Yeah, Rick Wood's doing good today. 
Good afternoon. Just a little update before I keep going and pushing on for tonight. Um, I was able to meet with Blaze, Dr. Morgan, um, about my foot issues. So I'm developing some tendonitis in my feet. Um, she was able to get a hold of Trail Angel Ghost. Um, I'm very thankful that she was able to get a hold of him and give me some uh, heel inserts and some leuco tape, and she gave me a video of how to tape up my foot to get me to Idlewild. Um, hopefully, a new pair of shoes once I get there. Ooh, sounds like my eyes there. Um, new pair of shoes when I get there, and some rest. But right now, just kind of pushing on and hoping for the best. Um, my trail family is camping 3.3 miles from here. It's already, it's almost five o'clock. Um, so that took between my telehealth appointment and waiting on ghosts to bring some stuff up and getting back on trail. It took a little bit of time. So, um, I'm quite a bit behind. I'm going to at least go 2.2 more miles to a campsite. So I'm about a mile behind them. Um, and then hopefully catch them first thing in the morning. And then um, if I can push 3.3 before like seven, I will, but that's, I got about two hours. I might be able to push three um, and catch them before sunset. I just wanna get my tent set up while there's still a little bit of sun, hopefully dry a few things out. My tent was a little damp, not that it's supposed to start raining, so. Our goal is really to kind of get up and over all of that behind me. Um, let's see if I can turn around. I've had all of that to kind of get around and up and over. Um, a storm coming in tomorrow, um, dropping snow, um, starting above 5,000 feet of elevation. So our goal tomorrow is to get up and over the 5,000 foot mark and back under that elevation to camp. Um, so it'll be kind of a wet, cold day. Um, and then we've got, that'll be Saturday. So we'll do Sunday, we'll push on some miles and then Monday head down into Paradise Valley and Idlewild. So might check in with you again later today, might not. Uh, just kind of put my head down and keep going right now. All right, so a quick update from camp. I'm at about mile 118. Um, so I met with Blaze earlier. I think I mentioned I got some inserts and leuco tape for my foot, um, which honestly actually took care of the problem that I've been having. I don't really have any pain in that particular area of my foot. Um, it's a little sore but and tender, but not like I've been having the last few days. However, <laughs> switching adding some heel inserts and the tape and changing the way I was walking really hurt my feet coming up these uh, last seven miles. I thought that maybe when I got to camp and rested a little bit that it would be, it would start feeling a little bit better. Um, the last few miles into camp were really tough. Um, I was going really slow. I was in a lot of pain. Um, so, um, just kind of figuring out some plans now, um, with the storm that's coming tomorrow, um, if I'm in as much pain as I was in today at all in the next two days, um, pretty screwed as far as, um, the amount of miles that I need to do to get out of, uh, snow line and looking at the maps and trail I've got no real exit point for another 27 miles so where I'm at right now um, there's a side trail up ahead that leads down to a trailhead on a road um, potentially have a ride from there tomorrow morning um, if not I can probably figure out a ride back down trail hiking another seven miles back into town and getting a ride resting up my foot getting my feet used to 
these new inserts in the way that I need to be walking, potentially getting new shoes, um, and resting and getting my feet adjusted uh, prior to getting back on trail. Um, it was doable, but I can't be in that much pain going that slow with the storm, winter storm coming in. Um, if there was no winter storm and I could take my sweet old time getting up and over this mountains, um, we'd be singing a very different tune, uh, than I am right now, but, um, rather than getting stuck and figuring out, um, and out if I'm really injured. I'd rather make a smart choice now. Tomorrow's a new day. As we keep saying, it's all just part of the process. Good morning. It's day 12. What well, was a gorgeous sunset and views last night. Um, it's completely clouded in. I'm socked in here. Um, clouds are moving pretty fast through here. A little snow, a little wind, pretty wet and damp. Um, I am just finishing up packing up my tent and then I will be headed to a trailhead just up ahead. I probably have like a half a mile to walk, uh, not far at all, um, where I'm getting picked up and taking a rest with my foot, hopefully um, meeting up or talking to Blaze, Dr. Morgan again about what's going on with my foot, um, coming up with some solutions, maybe some new shoes, getting my feet used to this adjustment of walking um, a different way and hopefully meeting back up with the group I've been hiking with um, either tomorrow or Sunday so trying to figure all that out but at least have a room for tonight and a ride out of here so starting with that I'll check in later Day 13. Um, got dropped off by my Uber, I think a mile back on the road. It's impassable for them, which I mean, it's dirt washed out, sandy dirt roads uh, back here. But making my way to Little Bear Hostel to meet up with the group I've been hiking with. And we'll hike out tomorrow to Paradise Valley Cafe and try and go right into Idlewild. And, uh, keep going from there so it's all part of the adventure so you know it's just <laughs> another thing that's part of this uh, adventure I've been on so I spent yesterday and this morning in Julian resting my foot um, it's really helpful I'm not really having any pain anywhere in it now um, big improvement from the day before where I was limping into um, camp and uh, didn't want to risk keep going so, uh, getting stuck up on the mountains in a snowstorm with my foot so here we are um, but honestly minus like the dumpster um, this <laughs> road walk has been really nice it's full of um, different birds and little bunnies hopping everywhere and some farm dogs that are <laughs> running up and down the street that just keep you know coming up to say hi and then <laughs> running their merry way down the road so it's been an adventurous uh, walk to say the least. Um, check back in later or tomorrow and uh, keep going. Maybe I'll have to do it again. So JJ's other boyfriend. She wants. Day 14. 
we are <coughs> probably about a mile or so from Highway 74, uh, where Paradise Valley Cafe is. Uh, left Little Bear Hostel this morning. That was a great place to stay. They were the sweetest family. Um, it was great um, having some time there. And then uh, we'll figure out a hitch into Idlewild and then make our plans for San Jacinto and Mission Creek and figure out what's, uh, what's going to happen next. So there's a lot of logistics that we have to work out. So touch face later. All right, almost to the road and the little parking lot right there. And then we're gonna hitch. And all of that is a future problem. Next part of the trail, covered in clouds and snow. So uh, we'll be making a plan and figuring out what's next uh, for heading up into this next section. This is our first intentional zero. Um, we're in Idlewild. It's been great so far. We got in yesterday. Um, staying at the Idlewild Inn. Um, we had breakfast, coffee, breakfast. We've been running errands all afternoon, morning and afternoon. Um, so we've made our plan for the next section. Um, after talking to locals and kind of looking at trail reports and things like that, we're skipping from here up to Big Bear, and then we'll keep heading north from there. Um, you know, if we get to the Sierras early, we figure we maybe we can come back down here and do the section um, around San Jacinto. Um, but just think safety-wise, with another storm coming on Friday, Thursday night into Friday, you know, we don't have the knowledge um to really be successful up on the mountain and as a group as a collective um so yeah but while i'm here i can also show you what uh an exploded uh hiker room kind of looks like um this is not just my stuff but also two other people whose um room for tonight isn't available until later this afternoon um the laundry bag of wash and laundry uh, that we dropped off at the hotel, bags of bags of resupply and food and everything is scattered kind of everywhere. So, um, but the room is really nice. It's been great. So, uh, it's, you know, doing pretty all right. Um, probably won't check in again today unless something really exciting happens. Um, but we'll be checking in at the very least, tomorrow at some point, so.